A puppy that survived the Bear Fire serves as a reminder of resilience to the team that rescued him three years ago. Action News Now reporter Margot Rowe is live at Butte County Search and Rescue. Margot, tell us the story about this rescue and where this dog is now. Kelly, this dog was rescued by Butte County Search and Rescue three years ago after the Bear Fire, and the dog, now known as Trooper, is thriving in the home of his rescuer. Oh, man. Oh, no. She's got some burns. This was the moment after Christina Skaggs pulled a puppy, now known as Trooper, from under a burned trailer. Yeah. Oh, my God. Almost immediately, Skaggs was greeted by tail wags and face licks. Trooper received several burns from the fire, and Skaggs says he needed surgery for his injury. She says his surgeries were covered by the International Fund for Animal Welfare, who offered to pay for his surgeries. Three years later, Trooper is now in a forever home with his rescuer. Like they had to shave his poor little head, um, and he wasn't able to interact with other dogs for a little while because of his injuries. But after a few months, his hair grew back, um, he started to be more playful, um, and we were able to bring him down to headquarters more often. And he really is a sign of resilience for us. And while Trooper doesn't serve the team as a search and rescue dog, he serves the team in more ways than one. Trooper attends the search and rescue team meetings where he provides a little fun and emotional support to the team. At the meetings, you know, he's uh, very interested in meeting everybody and seeing everybody around and saying hi and, and trying to get them to play. Trooper has been a, a great piece of our team ever since. It's like one of those positive things that came out of that very tragic fire. So I think as a team, we really appreciate him being here. Skag says it was her skills she obtained through search and rescue and training from North Valley Animal Disaster Group that helped her get Trooper out. And she also says that her and Trooper owe a lot of thanks to the International, International Fund for Animal Welfare for his surgeries. Reporting live in Chico, I'm Margot Rowe for Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Great story. Thanks for sharing that, Margot.